variables, constants, and operators in C language. So before we discuss this, let us first discuss the data types that, that are used in C language. So we have the int for integer, so allows a variable to store numeric values. The storage size is, uh, it can be 2 bytes, 4 bytes, or 8 bytes. Sometimes it depends on the processor that you're using. And character, or car, allows a variable to store only one character. The storage size is one byte. The float, float allows a variable to store decimal values. The storage size is four bytes. And for double, so double is same as float, but allows up to 10 digits after decimal. So the storage size is eight bytes. Variables. In programming, a variable is a container or a storage area to hold data. A variable is nothing but a name given to a storage area or memory that our programs can manipulate. And here are some rules for naming variables. A variable can have letters, digits, and underscore only. First letter of a variable should be either a letter or underscore no rules in length of variable but the first 31 characters are discriminated by the compiler so variable definition in C so the syntax in defining variables in C is first we have the data type oh sorry we have the data type followed by the variable list so for example we have in so that's the data type and we have one variable here i now or another example float that's a data type followed by the variable f rate here's another example double and then we have here two variables so that's a variable list so a list is separated by comma so we have d salary d sales car and then we have here ch so these are examples of defining or declaring variables in C. C constant. <clears throat> Constants refers to fixed values that a program may not alter during its execution. These fixed values are also known as literals. So constants are treated just like regular variables except that their values cannot be modified after their definition. So if you define a C constant, the syntax will be, first we have the keyword constant or C-O-N-S-T, const, then followed by the data type, then followed by the variable name. And optionally, we can assign the value. So example, const, so that's the keyword, then we have the data type, so data type, the variable name, PI, and then equal to the value, 3.14. So PI here will be our constant. So it, it, uh, it is similar to a variable name, but we cannot alter its value. And here are several types of C constants. We have integer constants, real or floating point constants, octal and hexadecimal constants, character constants, string constants, box last characters, uh, box last character constants or these are the what we call escape sequence so integer constants can be decimal octal or hexadecimal can have a suffix u or l for unsigned and l for long example we have 212 two and 12 or 215 u that means 215 unsigned so if it is unsigned that means it cannot uh, receive negative value. So uh, 0xf ee. -E. So that means 0x means that this number here is actually hexadecimal. And L means that uh, it is saved or stored as long value. So if you start a number by 0, then that means it is in octal 0x means it is in hexadecimal real constants a floating point literal has an integer part 
a decimal point, and a fractional part. So these are the parts of a floating point literal. Again, we have the integer part, a decimal point, and a fractional part, and an exponent part. So sorry, we'd expand. Exponent part. So optionally, we can have exponent part. You can represent floating point literals either in decimal form or exponential form. So we have here three examples. So this is in decimal form. So 3.14159. And this one is 314159E. That means that exponent raised to 10, neg uh, uh, raised, times 10 raised to negative 5L. That means it is uh, long. So what does this mean? Actually, this value is similar to this value. That is what we, sometimes we call this the scientific notation. Character and string constants. Character literals, sorry again with the spelling, are enclosed in single quotes. A character literal can be a plain character or an escape sequence. String literals or constants are enclosed in double quotes. Example, we have University of Luzon, so enclosed in double quotes. And here are some of the uh, escape sequence. Backslash B is for backspace, backslash F for form field. So we're familiar with backslash M, a new line. Backslash T, the horizontal tab. Backslash R for KDC third. Backslash double for double code. Backslash single for single code. Double backslash for backslash and backslash zero for null value. And there are still more. Operators. An operator is a symbol that tells the compiler to perform specific mathematics or logical functions. So in this slide, I'll be just showing you uh, arithmetic or mathematical operators. So arithmetic operators, we have the plus for addition, minus for subtraction, asterisk for multiplication, slash for division, and uh, we have percent for the modulo. Again, in uh, C language, just like in other programming language, there's a uh, hierarchy in resolving mathematical expression. We're in those that are in closed parentheses will be resolved first, then followed by uh, exponentiation, if we are, but we don't have exponentiation in C. So we have multiplication, division, then followed by addition and subtraction. Remainder is also the same with level with uh, multiplication and division. So we'll have more of that in our next slides maybe. So assignment operators we use the equal symbol that assigns values so sorry again with the spelling from right side operands to the left side operand. So example n equals 10. So this is our right side operand. So the value of this will be assigned to the left side operand to this variable. So that means after this statement is executed, the value of n will be equal to 10. Again, assigns the value from the right side, so we have n plus 5. So n is 10, 10 plus 5, 15, and then the value 15 will be assigned to the variable s. So that's the assignment statement. And we have here other assignment operators. We have the plus equal. So add an assigned operator, it adds, it adds the right operand to the left operand and assign the result to the left operand. So in other words, C plus equals A is the same as C equals C plus A. Take note of this pattern because we'll be using this pattern in other operators. So similarly, minus equals, C, so if you have C minus equal A, that's equivalent to C is to C minus A. Asterisk equals to C asterisk equal A is the same as C equals C asterisk A. C slash equal A is the same as C equals C slash A or divided by A. C percent equals A is the same as C equals C percent A. So here we, are, we have now a short we have two short examples here. So we have a program that we declared three variables or defined three variables. We have A, B, and S. 
So these three variables are integer variables. And then on the next line, we assign 10 to A, we assign 25 to B, and then we add A and B, and the result is assigned to S. So that means this is 10 plus 25, 35, we assign to S. Then we have our print statement, so print F percent D plus percent D is equal to percent D. So that's the format, comma, A, the value of A will be substituted to this, uh, this part, and then B on this part, and then S on this part. So the result will be, this is A, that's 10, plus, and then that's 25, that's B, is equal to this last percent D is for S, that's 35. So this will be the output of this simple program. Here's another example. So I have here, I declared a float variable, F rate, float variable again, F hours and float F salary. And then on the next line, I assign the rate, F rate 500, FR 75.7. And then here, again, what is on the right side will be assigned to the left side. So F rate is 500 times 75.7. So multiply this and the result is stored in F salary. Then to display the result, print F, I have here 10S equal to 8.2F backslash N. Remember, if we have 10S, this means that it will allocate 10 spaces to the string and it is right aligned or aligned to the right. So here, it will be allocating 8 spaces with 2 decimal places. So rate here will be assigned to this one and F rate will be assigned here, will be substituted here. And the same is true with hours and salary. So the result now will be rate is equal to 500, hours is equal to 75.7, and then the product salary is equal to 37,850.00. Okay, so thank you very much for viewing this video.